project if you've studied a little bit of art history. My kids and I love going to art museums. You can check out the post on my blog about how I make art museums fun for kids. But right now, we're going to get to this project, so let's go. Okay, ladies, who is your favorite artist? Ooh, that's a hard one. Renoir. Wow. Yeah, because once when we were doing uh, like a painting class, and I got actually a signed Renoir. I love his painting, the two girls at a piano. So either like Van favorites. Gogh or Cassette. Okay. Cassatt. Okay. Um, anything in particular you like about either of the artists? I just like Van Gogh's swirly lines and the little little brush strokes. Me too. And I like that Cassatt does a lot of like moms and daughters. Okay, any others that rank up there in your like top three? Um, I really like Frank Stella too, just uh, the geometric. Yeah, the modern when shop. we went to see him at the museum, I really liked his unusual, like the canvases were actually unusual shaped. That I liked the horse really racing original. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a cool one. The trunk. Um, yeah, I really one. loved the Klimt paintings, the Gustav Klimt paintings we saw in the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York. Remember those? The, mm -hmm. the I like, we also liked the, um, that does broad, Broadway Boogie Woogie. Oh, um, um, uh, Matisse? No, Mondrian. Mondrian. Yeah, Mondrian. Mondrian. Yeah, 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 so I, I thought that was really cool. I, like I just kind of think Broadway Boogie Woogie is a little bit elaborate and you can paint it with a bunch of squares in it. <laughs> okay, so we are going to do a project that uses all of our favorite artists today. So as long as you know that artist style, you'll be able to incorporate it. And guess what holiday is coming up? <laughs> Valentine's Day. So we are going to make our Valentine's this year in the styles of our favorite artists. We're going to do hearts, strictly hearts. But so you uh, got you must imagine what would a heart painted by Renoir or by Frank Stella look like, or what would a heart created by um, Van Gogh. Ooh, got That's some ready. ideas. Alright, you guys ready to let your creativity loose? Let's do it. Okay, so here we are making our Valentines uh, in the style of an artist. So what are you guys going to do first? Um, I think I'm going to do a Van Gogh. And I'm going to do Stella. Frank Stella. And I'm going to do some Syrah pointillism. So Frank Stella is known for his geometric shapes and bright, exciting colors. So I'm making my heart not quite round, making it more bold lines and angles. Hey, wouldn't it be funny if I put a tutu on my heart? That would be good. That would be okay, good. So I can resist a little pun. Ha, ha, ha. I'm going to do Van Gogh's sunflowers, but in pinks and reds. So my Van Gogh is done. I'm gonna do a Romero Brito heart next. Ooh, fancy. Brito. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can do a funky like uh, Rembrandt with his like light and dark. Ooh, that could be his off white hair. Hey mom, can I get a marker for this one? Sure, I don't care what medium you use. Just be creative. Cause you know, Brito did the bold dark lines and then the bright colors inside so because mine is frank stella i'm making a pun kind of like mom did and i'm writing let me be and then i'll be frank in another color i love you because it uses frank stella oh i'm gonna say remember rememberant that i love you uh, 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 oh. i can't think of any puns for van gogh Don't Van go away. I love you too much. Oh, that's good. 
All right, so now I'm You're doing a Jackson section. Pollock theme. Oh, you're I did at that some one? splotches, and now is I'm doing cool? what he would do, which is sort of flicking the paint off. But be warned, if you're going to do this method, even this isn't quite efficient. But make sure you've got a nice space, and be careful because the paint sort of flies everywhere. I think my brito is coming out pretty cool. And I am doing like a chubby baby Raphael cherub thing. <laughs> Raphael's babies are always super, super fast. Anybody think of any Raphael puns? Um, Raphael. What was his first name? I don't know. Nobody um, said he that was Raffaello Santi. And they called him Raphael. I'm not sure what that was about. Weird. Did he make me Raphael? <laughs> <laughs> that works. Mm. Alrighty, I think my Jackson Pollock is done because it's really messy, like, to do. What do you think? You know what? I'll do... Did anybody do Monet? Nope. I'll do Monet. Sort of a Monet. impressionist, maybe flowers. He did a lot of flowers. Okay, I think I either need to do a Giotto or a Chimabue with the... Uh, this medieval art with the giant halos, a heart with a giant halo. What do you think? I That'll like it. Cute. Or Peter Paul Rubens. He has a lot Who's of that, that stuff too. Except that you start you start getting a little more realistic after you get from uh, Chima Blair. Then Giotto gets a little more like scenery in the background. Yeah, you get some more like realistic after Chima Blair. Hmm. I'm gonna make the background look like aged somehow too. So again, these are just some ideas. Just pick any artist you want and 